Hi, yeah, thank you. I'll just uh, share my screen. Please let me know if this is if this is visible. Yep. So uh, we at Hagdarshak essentially are uh, working on a technology platform along with uh, a distribution network of women entrepreneurs, where we are helping citizens get access to government schemes and documents. Uh, social security, of course, impacts 80 crore citizens. And while uh, it's the government's job to design policy. Uh, at the political level, all schemes are designed through manifestos and uh, and distribution networks. Uh, I think there is a huge space and requirement to ensure that at the last mile, these schemes and documents and services around that are delivered through to citizens. Because apart from onboarding, which the government does a fantastic job on, even though there is some uh, exclusion there, the larger uh, gap is on the service delivery, whether it is ration, whether it is insurance, whether it is uh, schemes like PM Kisan, we've in our work seen a lot of gaps in terms of onboarding people and servicing people in ensuring that they are they continue on the social security benefits. Like uh, examples are pension schemes, insurance schemes when people need to do claims, when people need to actually get the benefits of these services. Uh, our model essentially uh, works through a technology platform which we have a proprietary engine. Um, we get the uh, we work on the beneficiary profiling and then unlock the benefits through a network of women entrepreneurs. We've trained over 19,000 women uh, across the country. We work in all states who then go door to door and deliver these services. We collaborate with CSEs because I'm sure everyone is thinking there are citizen service centers, but citizen service centers we run 200 citizen service centers of our own. 88 percent services are uh, high volume, low margin bill payments, Aadhaar based bill payments. So citizens really don't have a way to figure out what they are eligible for and basis eligibility, which is a huge information gap. They also don't know where to go in terms of getting some of these schemes. A simple thing like caste certificate in a rural village today takes six to seven days. If you have a connect uh, at the Gram Panchayat or Gram Sevak level. Um, and we work with these entrepreneurs at, and also MSMEs. We also work with micro businesses apart from citizens and gram panchayats where we deliver these services and all our content over 7,000 government schemes are digitized in 11 local languages. In the last six years, we've reached 20 lakh citizens, uh, delivered benefits of 2,500 crores and worked across the country, like I said, but uh, largely, I think the biggest gap we are seeing in justice through entitlements uh, is integrating through the government. If you take the example of the banking system, which is a closed loop where there has been some fantastic innovation in the last decade or so uh, through Aadhaar, through UPI. Now we are talking about open credit network systems, open digital systems in the government scheme delivery system. These systems don't exist. Uh, apart from a few central government schemes, most state government programs and services are still offline. When I say offline, it is e either pen and paper or on a different website. Organizations like Hagdarshak, a lot of non-profits who are working on the ground, civil society, MLA offices, MP offices actually struggle on the ground to get people access to these services. We need to create a loop just like banking where any agent, any organization on the ground can actually service citizens. Uh, it could be for a small fee. It could be powered by the local MP or MLA. It could be powered by the government. But the monopoly of government scheme delivery needs to be broken. If we really want to ensure that uh, all the 80 crore citizens get effective service delivery, not only onboarding of government schemes, but repeated service and quality service. And that's where we feel some of these systems are uh, and data is opaque and it is not getting through to the citizens in terms of delivery. Like I said, I think one time onboarding is a fantastic job that is happening, but continuous uh, focus on ensuring that the citizens remain in the social security net is an issue. Um, and we believe that these open digital platforms can lead to better health uh, services, better grievances, because there is a huge, huge, uh, and I'm, I'm sure all the other uh, speakers have already talked about it in terms of grievances and dispute resolutions around simple things like pensions, insurance, uh, health services, education services. And I think as long as we can, uh, I would say mirror how the banking system is moving. If we can also look at a similar way of a private public partnership where the social security system can also move, 
uh, it can really enable us to uh, scale uh, at the scale at which we are looking at social security in the country, which is only going to increase as our taxation, as our uh, ecosystem in the corporate sector uh, increases. Uh, social security is going to be a big push and we are already seeing the benefits of a government scheme led delivery on the political side also. Uh, when citizens are given benefits of government schemes on time, their disputes are resolved. It also benefits uh, the people who are designing policies. So I think that's where we are really uh, keen that the case for open systems where anyone anyone can build on top of these uh, government systems can be done. Of course, there are some there is some work that is happening in this at the government side, but to do it at a pan India level, state level, I think there is a massive push required to use this data for better. Uh, resolve of the, uh, 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 resolving of the disputes and grievances that arise from this. And uh, we essentially have built the entire system on an open API system and we are really keen and looking to work with governments to state governments and central government to ensure that such kind of scheme depository and grievances even even in our existing data of 20 lakh citizens there are multiple grievances that arise for which we have to go to multiple uh, dashboards, platforms, government departments, if that can be integrated, that would be a fantastic service which can then be built as a low-cost, affordable service directly to the citizens. Yeah, thank you.